What's up, everybody? Um, it's been a couple days since I made a video. I just want to kind of tell you what's been going on really since Wednesday evening, Thursday morning, like really early in the morning. Um, Wednesday, we, we never get to actually go out and, and do stuff for us, you know, uh, just me and her and, and have fun and we never get to like spoil ourselves. So, um, Wednesday we, we, you know, basically indulged in, in just me and her and, and just had a good day. Uh, we, you know, we went up to, uh, anybody from, you know, from what Southwestern PA, if they're here, you know, where Westmoreland County is, we went up to Westmoreland Mall and, um, uh, there's a store up there. It's called Rockstar. It's a little mom and pop store. And, um, they're kind of, if you remember how PacSun used to be in like the early 2000s, the store is literally like that. Uh, it's, they sell, you know, the, the skater shoes, you know, DCs, Vans, DVSs, Etnies, uh, anything, anything you want uh, of skater early 2000, late 90s, early 2000s. I'm telling you, they have it. They're an awesome store. Um, they have a website, a shop, shoprockstar.com. Um, they have a website, uh, that, or, uh, an email or no, what the fuck am I trying to say? Uh, a Facebook and they have a Instagram, I do believe, uh, at least that's what it says on the, the receipt. So, um, but other than that, uh, I bought this, you know, this hat from there and these badass pair of DCs, like they sell the court graphics DCs up there, which is really, really, really hard to find for anybody who is into, you know, the, especially DCs, you can never find those type of shoes anymore. It's always these ones, the net, the net ones. These ones are pretty sick too. I like those, but they're the net, you know, the net ones, uh, the court graphics are like the, you know, they're, they have the wider foot, but you know, they're just badass, all of them. <laughs> um, but while we were up there, I ended up buying a couple other things too. I finally broke down and bought a smudging kit. And I also bought some stuff that's... It's not really like like witchy or, or uh, uh, Wicca or, you know, the warlock stuff. Uh, uh, but it's more like the spiritual, especially one thing that I bought. It's old, old spiritual. The original. How everybody portrays it now is evil. And the original is not evil. The original is actually early Christianity. And that would be a pentagram. It's got two sides. It's badass. The upside down pentagram is the one that's everybody associates with Satanism. Well, I bought that. And I also bought crystals. Two crystals. Um... One is a uh, rose quartz. And the other one is, it's an onyx. Same name as you. <laughs> <coughs> it's funny, I said onyx and she looked at me. That's seriously my dog's name. Um, 
But I, I did a little research before I bought them. And they're... Uh, you know, it's said to bring good energy and all that stuff. I also, I ended up buying a book on meditation also. Um, when I was younger and, you know, a, a teenager in the early 20s, I, uh, I meditated a lot. Uh, I played football all the time and it just kept my mind, you know, my mind straight and all that stuff. Especially having, you know, depression and suicidal thoughts. You know, it's definitely good to keep your mind, you know, try to keep your mind off of, you know, bad stuff. So, um, but that's another reason why I bought the, the, uh, the crystals because they're said to help keep bad energy away. And, uh, I plan on smudging the house, uh, I might do it this weekend. Uh, it's supposed to be nice this weekend, and I can actually, like, you know, have the door open and all that stuff. I mean, it's nice out right now, but it's windy as shit, and it's kind of cold. Um, and I, I, since Wednesday, it's kind of strange. Since one day, it's uh, Wednesday, um, actually Wednesday night, I haven't really been feeling all that great. Um, I have no idea what's wrong. I just feel, um, I, I just feel tired and, uh, my, a little bit of breathing issues is starting to come back again. Uh, Thursday, yesterday, I woke up at like six o'clock in the morning and it felt like I had a mask on my face while I was sleeping. I can barely breathe. I was literally forcing <clears throat> myself to be able to breathe. And obviously that is not good. Uh, now, um, Uh, hold on. Sorry, my dog's going nuts. Uh, but yeah, uh, yesterday I woke up and I could barely breathe. And then I got that taken care of, sort of. So we ended up going to Walmart yesterday. We were just buying a couple, couple groceries and I needed, uh, um, I needed to buy a new, uh, memory, uh, uh, external hard drive for my Xbox. So went up there and we're up there for, I don't know, 20 minutes. And just out of nowhere, I got really like, I, I it almost felt like I was coming down with the flu. Like I got extremely hot. I started sweating, but I was kind of cold at the same time. And um, uh, I got, got dizzy, got a, a bad headache, you know, it, it almost felt like I was coming down with the flu and, or, you know, the people that are on, uh, like on drugs real bad you know, they have, uh, withdrawals. That's almost kind of what it feels like. Now, obviously, you know, I know that because of my past, you know, I, I am, I hate to admit it, but yes, I, you know, have indulged in sh stuff before and I, it, it's a long story. I don't want to get into it. Not, not in this video, but, um, you know, I, that's how I felt. So I looked at her. I said, look, we got to go home. I don't feel good. Uh, I just, you know, well, all day I was having trouble. I ended up passing out and I woke up this morning at one o'clock in the morning and all day since I woke up and then I fell back asleep and then 
finally woke up at like seven o'clock and I've been up ever since. But all day I've been seeing like flashes of light or um, like uh, like <clears throat> if it's not flashes of light, it's like almost like shadows, you know, moving in my peripheral, in my peripheral vision. And whatever I turn to look, they're gone. And all day, you know, I've been trying to chalk it up to it's sunny outside, cars going by. Well, I was in the bathroom. And uh, I was doing my business, you know, taking a piss. Well, in my bathroom, my toilet is right in front of you, and the bathtub is on the side right here. You know, it would be like right here. There is a window, but the window would be all the way in back of the shower where there's the next, you know, the shower wall right there. You can't see the window. And besides, there it's covered up anyways. So nobody can peek in my window. Like there's, there, it's there's not a regular blind. There's a like a towel hanging there. There's no light coming in at all. I in in the shower, I seen not only the flash of light, but I also seen what looked like a full fledged shadow standing directly next to me. And I looked real quick, and there's nothing there. Whenever I turned my head back around, it was like, kind of like right here on my, on the other side of my face. And I looked real quick and, you know, because uh, uh, it freaked me out. Like, I looked and there was like... I seen almost like a light and then it just disappeared like very quickly. It was super weird. I have no idea what the hell it is, but this is all new. This shit didn't happen until this morning. So I don't know what's going on, but I definitely wanted to post, you know, let everybody know it's, you know, kind of an update and all that stuff. You know, everybody who, you know, follows me and, you know, is trying to help me out with everything. This is, this is new. This is, this never, has never happened. I mean, I've seen shadows in my, you know, my side vision and all that stuff before. But nowhere, nowhere to this. Um, and now the, talking about the sleep paralysis that I was having. I haven't had it for a couple days. Knock on wood. Um, oh, yeah, I haven't had it since I posted that last video. Uh, talking about it. But I have been having the dreams of that woman. That fucking god awful whatever the hell she is. I have been having dreams of her. Uh, it's not, you know, uh, some sometimes she's like, like we were in my in the one dream we were driving down the road and I looked over, and at one one time I looked over as my fiance. I looked away to look at the road. I looked back over and it was the. The hag sitting there, the scary demon woman sitting there, and then I woke up. And then another one, uh, we were um, walking down the road. Like we were, we were going for a walk in a dream. And then me and my fiance was holding hands, and I, uh, we were holding hands walking the dog. And I looked at her, looked down at the dog, looked over at the trees because it looked really pretty or whatever. 
I look back at her and it was the the same woman, the scary woman. Then I look down at the dog and it wasn't that dog. It was some kind of, it, it was, uh, it, it, it looked like a fucking werewolf. <laughs> and I seen that and it woke up. You know, it's, it's not always the woman crawling up, you know, in my sleep. You know, I've been in my dreams other places. In broad daylight, too, in my dreams, and I see her. So I don't know if I'm just having dreams about her for some reason. Because she freaked me out the first time I seen her. Or if... Or if there's something else going on. So, I don't know. I don't know. I just I just don't. So, But, yeah, I wanted to kind of let everybody know. You know, yes, I have bought those crystals. Yeah, I bought the smudging kit. I did buy the pentagram. No, it's not an upside down pentagram. It's for everybody who, you know, is gonna say oh it's it's satanism no no it's not you know you look it up and the pentagram originally was early christianity look it up <laughs> do your research so um actually it it was wait christianity is a stem from Jew, uh, Jewish, or Judaism, or however the hell you would say that, and uh, I think it was like a Jewish symbol before, and early Christians kind of like adopted it or something like that, and then. So it's something on that effect. I can't exactly remember. I just remember it being, you know, it is early Christianity, you know, uh, uh, somebody watching this, I know you guys probably know more than I do. I'm not a huge religious guy. You know, I do wear a cross. I have a cross on my arm. I have surrendered prayer. I have, you know, a Holy Bible sitting by my head every night. I have a crystal, uh, you guys probably never seen this. You know, my, my crystal cross. And my... Oh, Jesus Christ. Hold on. Sorry about that. Somebody came to the door. Uh, but yeah, uh, the my crystal uh, cross. And... My very old bottle of anodding oil. And then also oh, my little Bible. So, I mean, I'm not hugely religious, but I do have, you know, my fair share of religious artifacts. I just knocked down my bottle. Well, uh, in my you know, my collection of, uh, you know, protection beads, you know, I keep them in here for safe keepings and stuff. So, you know, I'm, I'm definitely, I'm definitely protected, uh, from, from dark stuff, but I just want to know, you know, what, Like, I know that I have dark shit attached to me. I've had it my whole life. Why is it just now starting to get worse? So, but anyways, I'm going to let you guys go. Uh, thanks for watching. And uh, if you made it this far, <laughs> so... Um, Everybody, stay safe. You know, God bless everybody. And, uh,
Don't be ugly. Later, guys.